I really wasn't sure if I was gonna do this video because it's a little bit real and some of you guys can't handle that. The following that you have is not really a following because you're not a leader. What's going on guys? Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music and bring it all the way over here where it becomes a thriving business, providing you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Leadership, confidence, a following, being guided. You guys understand the importance of this when it comes to marketing, right? I needed to do a video talking about this because something that I see time and time again from my own students, from people that message me, from you guys in the comments below the videos, is we're stuck in a mindset that we're programmed from the time we're little all the way through school. Those of you who went to college, those of you who have worked a day job for five, 10, 15, 20 years, we're a yes man, yes man society. And so how do we become a leader? How do we get a group of other people to listen to us and become yes men for us when we're so used to people telling us what to do? I think it's something that is very crucial to break through. And I'm gonna explain why here in a second. You wanna build a following. You don't wanna become the following. You are a creator, not a consumer. If you are a leader and you learn to guide your audience, you're gonna be able to turn those followers into fans without it you're just a mediocre music maker at best. You're not a business. Think about it this way. When you have a following and you don't feel confident telling them what to do, I hear this a lot, Adam, uh, I'm spamming them. I don't wanna bother them. I don't wanna push them away and have them unfollow me. Well, if you're not leading them, then them following you means nothing anyway. We have to look at it in a way of, I need to be able to deliver my message in a way that's impactful, in a way that's effective, a way that's efficient as a leader with confidence. How do you do that? Repetition. You have to believe in yourself right now. I'd love to know in the comments below if you are a music creator. I am an artist, I am a producer, I am a manager, I am whatever, fill in the blank, maybe a full-time YouTuber. If it feels foreign to you to type that or even think that, you're not there yet. You have to understand that even though you might not be doing it full-time already, you have to take over the identity of who you want to be. If I say, you know, I wanna do um, a bodybuilding competition and I go to the gym twice a week and then uh, people are like, are you a bodybuilder? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a bodybuilder, but I'm not confident in it. I'll never become that. If you have a skill set, if you are passionate about making music, you should be able to go with complete confidence and tell people about it, right? Tell your following about it. Be able to understand how to speak to these people, understand how to lead have confidence in saying, I'm providing value, I'm providing an experience that these people are going to enjoy and connect with me because of, and not say, oh, I don't, you know, I send them links to my Spotify posts, I, uh, you know, releases. I, I tell them when there's a new post, I like do a story. Yeah, you gotta be more than that. You got, you got to be able to be able, you, you got to be able to be able, you have to be able to go out there with confidence and say, you know what, I'm a leader for my people. Now I wanna take a quick break to thank the video sponsor today, which is Koji. The OGs, Koji. Somebody that I believe in, somebody that I just did a dedicated video for not too long ago. The great thing about Koji is it's a platform. It's not an app. You don't have to go to an app store. People are like, where do I download Koji? You don't. You set up a profile over, I'm gonna have a link in the description box below where you can go do that, and it's free. The great thing about it is if you're into Web3 and NFTs, they have apps such as these that you can jump into. If you wanna have an event calendar with gigs, live events, all these different things where people can really connect with you, they have a great app within their platform for that. The great thing about Koji is it's like a marketplace and you could say, I want that, I wanna try that, I wanna try that, I wanna try that, all for free. You can add it to your profile and keep people in the app over on Instagram, over on TikTok, for example, while being able to consume your content, being able to connect with you, being able to get announcements, new, uh, notifications, notifications when it comes to, I mean, if you have an OnlyFans, maybe you can use it for notifications. But Koji is a great way to be able to connect with your audience while not having to have the tech know-how to build out a page or uh, pay monthly fees like a lot of the other uh, 
uh, Lincoln Bio Services that are only Lincoln Bio Services. Koji is its own standalone platform. The great thing about Koji that I didn't even mention in the other video, which I don't know why, is you can embed a Facebook pixel, you can embed different tools to then do retargeting ads when you're ready to do that. So I wanna thank Koji so much for sh you know showing me support and I want you guys to go check them out. Link in the description box below. I use it, I'm gonna be using it. So if it's good enough for me, it's definitely good enough for you. It's something something I believe in and I'm, I plan on working with Koji for a very long time because they're just bringing another element of awesome to the music community. You don't have to lead everyone. But if you can lead your following to your experiences, your music, you, that's marketing 101. Attract the attention, lead them to where you want them to be. They're not a fan unless they pay you with attention or pay you with money. I think it's safe to say that most of you guys would agree with that. You don't have to pay, you don't have to come out of your wallet, but I need some of your attention if you're really a fan of me. No different than you guys giving me a little bit of attention today in this video, which thank you. I need you to adapt a new identity if you're going to be a successful creator in this game. The music industry is a fucking toilet. If, you're, if you don't have the uh, confidence, if you don't have the willingness to take negative feedback and criticism, if me saying that it's a toilet really discouraged you, that's why I said it, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe going off on your own, maybe going and venturing off to try to one day sign your own checks isn't for you because it's not it's not for everybody it's a hard stressful not fun all the time life you say well adam i love making music how can that be stressful because music is only a small part of the equation unfortunately when it comes to uh, building a music career when it comes to building a career off youtube when it comes to being building a career as an as an author all of these things are outside of the lines, guys. When we're in college, when we're in high school, when we're in elementary school, those of you overseas who call it different things, as we're going through school, what are we, what are we told to do? Listen, be quiet, say, yes, please, do what, they're, do what they're telling us to do, go home and do this homework. If you don't do it, you fail. Go study, if you don't remember it, you fail. You get to a day job after that, even with a college degree at a job that's making 60 or 80 grand a year and you're like, oh, I've really made it. Guess what? Still have to answer to somebody, still have to do what you're told. If you don't do what you're told, you're fired. You have to say yes, 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 okay. You want me to jump? How high? Now, what do you do when you're the leader? Nobody's telling you what to do. You're the leader of a bunch of people that look up to you, yet they lose confidence if you're not confident. They, you have to be the creator that they're here to consume. So I'm not trying to discourage anybody here. In fact, I'm trying to do the opposite. If you don't feel confident, I need you to, to really lean into that and say, you know what? I'm kind of faking the funk right now. I have to do more. I have to take action. I have to go out and talk to people with more confidence if this is really what I want to do. And I get it. When you first get started, I remember when I first started producing music in 06, you know, close to 20 years ago now. I'd say, oh, I'm, a, I'm a beat maker, I'm a music producer. Oh, let me hear your stuff. Uh, uh, well, and then you start making caveats. Well, you know, I just started, um, I, don't, I don't have all the, you know, right plugins on this computer, but uh, like, I know the mix is bad. Like you just start making excuses. I'm not expecting any of you guys to be the next Kanye West and just, you know, have no self-doubt whatsoever and just think that you are God's gift to the music industry. But the closer you can get to that, the more people will believe it. If you've ever saw somebody uh, that has so much charisma when they walk into a room, they command attention, people just want to be around them. It could be a car salesman, it could be a celebrity, it could be somebody that you went to high school with or work with currently, or maybe a family member of yours. That confidence and charisma is so important to people believing in you. So I understand when people are like, marketing shouldn't be part of the music industry, because I look through it and I, I, I just want to separate all of these excuses and all of these different uh, pushbacks, because I used to be that guy. I used to be the shy guy. I used to be the procrastinator. I used to be the guy who was super introverted. Don't get me wrong, I still am sometimes. But if you want to put the excuses out in front of the actual issues, instead of 
getting past those obstacles in your life, that's always going to hold you back. Marketing shouldn't be part of the music. It dilutes the quality. All this like purist bullshit. Don't get me wrong. Good, good, I love good music. But if you think that you can have a lawnmower and have a successful multi six figure business as a lawnmower uh, lawn care service without ever telling anybody that you cut lawns or do edging or anything else, you're out of your mind. You have to tell people about your music. They have to resonate with you. They have to connect with you. All the people that you looked up to that you can remember album covers, maybe you bought a poster or a t-shirt, whatever that looks like. Shouldn't you be that person to somebody else? A following needs to follow someone. You need to guide, you need to lead, you need to direct. And if you don't know that narrative, if you don't know how to do that, you have to work on it. This channel, I have like a bunch of different videos teaching you how to tighten things up, bring in the attention. Direct them, have a retention path so you can keep them after they discover you. Because if they just follow and then you don't convert them to a fan, then who cares? This video is going to help you attract the attention. This video is going to help connect with the people that you need to connect with and ignore the people that are a waste of your time. I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you got any value out of this video, what you think about leadership, and if you're leading your following. Connect with me over on Instagram. Hit that little subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I appreciate you watching.